today we have start bsc 2 semester 3 syllabus we have start the first uh, paper number 5 english pedagogy what is pedagogy pedagogy is the science of rock what is rock rock is the aggregates of minerals look at this pedagogy and rock rock is the study of a uh, pedagogy is the study of rock then what is rock rock is the solid constituent of the earth crust now here one word is the crust then what is crust crust is the uppermost layer of the earth everyone have know last year we have see the an internal structure of the earth in which we have study the earth crust earth crust having the thickness of 5 to 75 km then earth crust is a complete solid which have consist of a rock that is is the rock what is the definition of rock rock is the aggregate of mineral everybody can know the last year we have seen the definition of mineral and we have completed the mineralogy chapter uh, mineralogy paper in the last year then definition of rock is the aggregates of mineral aggregates of mineral what is the mineral mineral is a naturally occurring inorganic substance which has a definite chemical composition and definite atomic structure then here rock is the aggregates of mineral now we have studied in this paper pedagogy rock there are different three kinds of rock these are the igneous rock sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock these three kinds of rock are formed in different conditions which are favorable for that particular rock now we have seen the first igneous rock formation what is igneous rock igneous rock is formed from hot and molten material that is the magma what is magma magma is the hot and molten material which are formed below the earth surface at various depth which is the mantle material which are formed in the asthenosphere you have know we have seen the last year asthenosphere which is present below the earth surface at 75 km to 250 km below the earth surface now this asthenosphere that magnetic material comes from the asthenosphere and spread on the earth surface as well as within the earth crust and form the igneous rock how can they form that magnetic material cools and solidify and form the igneous rock now second type of rock is the sedimentary rock sedimentary rock is formed by the different sedimentary process this process is the pre existing rock is weathered eroded then transported deposited and that deposition takes place consolidation and cementation after cementation lithification is proceed and form the sediment rock by the suitable temperature and pressure condition now next thing rock is the metamorphic rock when metamorphic rock is formed in this formation a uh, pre existing rock like sedimentary rock igneous rock or metamorphic rock itself when uh, temperature and pressure the uh, condition along with chemical fluids is enhanced that uh, factors three factors which factors temperature pressure and chemical fluid when these factors influences on the pre existing rock that pre existing rock that is the parent rock is changed into the metamorphic rock then different types of metamorphic rock different types of sediment rock different types of igneous rock is also present on the earth crust that's it first we have seen the igneous rock now this chapter 
is the igneous rock. Now we have studied the igneous rock. What is igneous rock? Igneous rock is formed from the consolidation and cooling and consolidation of magma. Everybody, everybody have known the what is magma? Magma is hot and molten material which are present below the earth surface in the atmosphere that is at a 75 to 250 km below the earth surface. That magmatic material, look at this, this is the surface, earth surface and here magma chamber is here. This is the magma chamber. This depth is 5 km to 75 km. Or up to 250 km below the earth surface. This magnetic material is comes on the earth surface when internal movement is occur. Internal movement means volcanism, earthquake, or any internal activity occur within the earth. That magnetic material, when pressure and temperature enhance in that magma chamber, this magnetic fluid is comes on the earth surface or it comes under the earth crust which are inject in the earth crust and form the different igneous bodies. That body is when that magnetic material cools and consolidated form the igneous rock. Now here is also igneous rock. Now there are different three types of igneous rock. This is the extrusion igneous rock. When that magnetic material comes and spread over the earth surface. That magnetic material comes over the earth surface and spread over a long distance. Then this material is consolidated, cooled up and form the solid rocks. That is called as the extrusive, extrusive igneous rock or volcanic igneous rock. Extrusive igneous rock or volcanic igneous rock. When this magnetic material comes and injected within the earth crust, in the earth layer, that magnetic material comes from a magma chamber and injected within the earth layer below the earth surface at various depth that magnetic material injected in the earth layer that magnetic material create room itself and then this magnetic material slowly cooled and consolidated after solidification this rock is also igneous rock but its nomenclature is plutonic igneous rock it is also called as a intrusive, which is followed below the earth surface. That's why it is an intrusive igneous rock. It is also called as a plutonic igneous rock. Plutonic as well as intrusive. Intrusive igneous rock. Now, third type of igneous rock is the intermediate, or it is also called as a hyperbasal rock. This is present near the earth surface. Means magnetic material comes from the magma chamber and injected near the earth surface. Near the earth surface and cools. Now this condition is favorable for the formation of rock. Now here this is the extrusive igneous rock, this is the intrusive igneous rock. Now here cooling condition is better for the formation of hyperbasal or intermediate igneous rock. Here cooling condition is different than both these two. Relatively both the two this material is called as the intermediate intermediate or hyperbasal igneous rock.
now this three type of igneous rock is formed by the process of cooling and consolidation of metal